Ladies and gentlemen, Garrett here with Ka Connected here at E3 2018. Welcome to episode two of our hall floor tours. There's a way of putting it. This is the West Hall. Welcome to the floor. It's beautiful. It's loud. As you can see, we're here at Ninjala. Lord knows what it is, but I got to tell you, it looks fun and exciting and colorful, but again, very loud. Let's move on and escape it. So first we see Fate Extello. Honestly, that looks like a uh, metalcore band logo or perhaps deathcore black metal of some sort. I'm kind of into it. Again, I am totally unfamiliar with what it is but they got a cool logo. Thankfully, uh, if you've seen episode one of the South Hall, you'll know that the show floor is much more wide open this year, not quite as congested. Granted, only media and industry folk are in here at the moment, but it's gonna fill up very soon with 60,000 plus people and we will share all of our sweat, air and diseases together. It's gonna be disgusting and wonderful at the same time. As you can see here, this is the Focus Home Interactive booth. Vampire is here, maybe, or maybe they're talking about Vampire. Fun fact, we reviewed Vampire. I actually reviewed it myself, and I am quite the fan. Seemingly one of the bigger fans out of all the media outlets, because I think I rated it the highest. Maybe I'm an idiot, maybe I'm not. Try it for yourself, it's a whole lot of fun, but this looks exciting. They have a tractor with a horse. Is that Farm Simulator? It is, that was actually a guess, and I was correct, I'm very glad. Probably my most anticipated game of the year. It's a shame they didn't have a presence at the press conferences this year, because it is most deserving of all of the stages. Hashtag not fanboys, I like to say, but Sony is arguably my favorite company of the bunch, and uh, I have played Spider-Man. I can gladly tell you that it is uh, wonderful, it feels incredible, and the web-slinging is everything I'd ever hoped it would be. I just realized how massive Nintendo's booth is. Look how epic this is, my goodness. I guess you could say it's Smash Bros. theme this year, maybe just Nintendo in general. Last year was totally focused on New Dunk City from Mario Odyssey. It was amazing, but this is a lot to take in. It's wide open. We have Mario Tennis Aces, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, and Eevee. I'm an Eevee guy. I'm going to be investing. I'm very excited for Mario Tennis. About pooping my pants just taking a look at it. We have uh, Zelda's sword. Just kidding. I'm not that stupid. We all know it's Link's. The beautiful Master Sword. Oh, and the Sheikah Slate from Breath of the Wild. What a wonderful experience that was. Captain Falcon's helmet. I wish I could wear that. Can't see through it, but it's nice. Donkey Kong's infamous tie. Now that is something, size and all, I would wear all day, every day. A fun fact, I actually dressed up in a tutu and a pink wig at the Sleep Tight demo event yesterday. And not to toot my own horn, but I look gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm taking a very bad path through this hall because we're gonna be twisting and turning all in different directions. Sega's booth, uh, a little tight, but full of excitement. Uh, we got the IGN booth over here, interesting. Interesting. Look forward to the uh, COG Connected booth at E3 2019, where it will virtually be the space I'm standing in because uh, that's about the extent of our reach here at E3, but it's gonna be very exciting. We encourage you to come pay a visit. And up ahead, we have Overkill's The Walking Dead, which I'm seeing here in about a two hours or so. And I'm very interested because the cinematic trailers have been breathtaking and it definitely looks different for Walking Dead video games we've seen in the past. Let's see if she can give us a quick word. How are you feeling today? You and me both. Oh my goodness, you're missing your mouth. I don't think you can make any sounds with his mouth, but let's see. Beautiful eyes, by the way. You're looking very handsome. Overkill's Walking Dead, after seeing the zombies, stoked. You get in the cage with that guy, maybe you can cuddle with this zombie. That's something I can get into. Oh, he's got guts, too. Delicious. Hmm, he and I share very similar appetites. Moving forward, we've made a giant circle. We're doing a figure eight motion in this episode to make it a little more dynamic of an experience. Moving up to Gun Gray VR. That guy looks incredibly badass. That's something I would certainly cosplay as if I was a cosplayer. That of which I wasn't up until yesterday when I said I dressed up in the pink wig and tutu. It was amazing. You can probably count on that video coming to our YouTube channel in the near future. Well, what do we got? Uh, Indiecade Showcase. This is always exciting. A lot of gems coming out of the indie space these days. And in fact, so many you can hardly keep up with them. But I'm sure a couple of our guys are paying a visit to the Indiecade this year to go hands-on with a lot of the goods. We are reaching uh, the nether regions of the West Hall here, where you find stuff like red leather teddy bears. This white wall is probably the best decorated white wall in all of the building. Uh, let's just take a moment to admire it. 
Okay. Where am I going? Let's go back the other way, Paul. See if we can turn the corner without running into someone and dying. Okay, PSVR stuff. We're back at Sony's booth where we will explore a bit more, as I promised. Blood and Truth, I had no idea was playable here. I'm very, very interested in that one. I really enjoyed London Heist. This seems to be the fully realized version of that. Blood and Truth is arguably a funny name. I don't know if you ever heard of the movie called Blood and Chocolate. I remember seeing the trailer for it back in the day and people laughing out loud when it played in the theater. It was hilarious. That's way off topic, but it's just something that came to mind. Kind of sneak in over here and see what it's all about. Let's go. Paul, you want to uh, make a cameo? Okay, here's Spider-Man in action. Like I said, it's for me, it's unbelievable. I've heard other people saying, nah, it's okay. If you're a Spider-Man fan and you've been waiting for this game for a long time, as I have, specifically waiting for one to be as good as Spider-Man 2 on PS2 or even uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. This one totally delivers. The web slinging is the best it has ever felt. I'm very satisfied. Norman Reedus is actually here himself. He's very good at staying perfectly still while he poses. And uh, I don't have time to get a picture with him, but I'm amazed at how, how still he stands. Great outfit, too. We've determined that Death Stranding is essentially pack simulator, or uh, pack mule simulator, excuse me, where you just pick up some goods and drag them up mountains all day, every day. So it looks like Sony's got this giant demo stage where they're having guests of various developers come show off their games for the masses. We've got New York City here. It looks like Spider-Man is one of the playable titles, as we said. That's very cool. Spider-Man himself up on the building. Great pose. That may, in fact, be the exact same model from last year, but that's okay. Destiny 2 Forsaken. I did go hand on with uh, Forsaken's expansion with Bungie, and I played the new Gambit mode multiplayer. It's PvPVE, and it is probably the most fun I've had playing competitive multiplayer in Destiny since the beginning. It's an absolutely brilliant mode, and I haven't looked forward to Destiny in a long time, but I definitely am now after playing that alone. Over to our right, we have Call of Duty Black Ops 4, which I have also played at the reveal event a few weeks ago, and I'm not a Call of Duty hater, but I'm also not a diehard fan, but it delivers, man. It's very fun. I kind of liked World War II, but Black Ops 4 I'm much more excited for. With some of the uh, questionable changes they have coming to the franchise, but I think it's for the better. Definitely borrowing from many more popular shooters today, but it really fits Call of Duty. And let's be honest, who isn't excited to try out Call of Duty 4's, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4's blackout mode? Battle Royale is kind of a running joke these days with its implementation into every franchise ever, including probably Fallout, Skyrim, Smash Bros., it's, it's, it's everywhere. It's a plague. I think we've hit everything. Is that everything, Paul? Okay, we're feeling good. This was our West Hall floor tour, booth tour, whatever you'd like to call it. Had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't seen our South Hall booth tour, you should check that one out as well. Paul is an, an unbelievable host, way better than I am. I'm sorry if I talk too much. I hope I give you enough detail, enough to look at. It's very exciting to be here. If you guys are watching our content, we encourage you to stay tuned. Subscribe for more and join us every week on CogConnected.com for features, news, previews, and videos. It's a wonderful time. We'll see you there.